Magic guard Jalen Suggs was reported to have a trochlear injury and is said to be out indefinitely due to needing surgery to remove a cartilage fragment from the knee. Let's break this down. Originally, this was being reported as a trochlea injury, which is not a medical diagnosis, but rather a description of the anatomical location of the injury. This is the kneecap or patella here, and between it and the femur bone is this space with a groove. The trochlea is this grooved part of the distal femur where the kneecap connects, forming the patellar femoral joint. It helps to stabilize it and allow allows the patella to glide smoothly as the knee bends and straightens. And behind the patella is this cartilage for different reasons. Sometimes a free floating fragment, AKA loose body of the bone or cartilage breaks off into the joint, causing swelling, locking, and catching of that knee joint. Sometimes in a condition called osteochondritis desiccans, a piece of that cartilage and a small layer of bone underneath it comes loose. Although the reasons for this aren't fully understood, it's believed they occur most likely due to low blood supply to the area in the setting of constant forceful or repetitive actions like in high level athletes. Athletes. In these cases, the stress damages the blood vessels nearby and a small section of bone can actually start dying, leading to the weakened bone sometimes breaking off. Surgically removing this fragment includes a small incision made to allow for arthroscopic investigation of the damaged region. Any detached fragments are removed and the flapped and fray edges are trimmed and cleared up. Athletes typically can return from this type of procedure anywhere from two to six weeks, but sometimes if the cartilage defect is large, these require restoration procedures. These involve harvesting chondrocytes, also known as the cartilage producing cells are cultured and isolated for around three to six weeks. Once the chondrocytes are ready, they can be re-implanted later, which sometimes allows athletes to finish the season and then the full resurfacing is done in the off season. While an isolated foreign body removal is two to six weeks, recovering from surgery and returning can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months because it will require full maturation of cartilage before enduring higher loads. Wishing Suggs a safe and speedy recovery.